Low back pain is one of the most common causes of disability worldwide. There can be a number of reasons for this kind of pain. Modic changes are one of them. In short, modic changes are changes in the part of the vertebra located adjacent to the intervertebral discs. They are only visible on MRI scans, but these small changes may cause severe pain. Modic changes are named after the American radiologist Michael Modic, who first described the changes in the 1980s. We still don't know much about what causes modic changes, but it might go something like this. You've been bothered by back pain that comes and goes for a long time, but now the pain has started to flare up more often and is stronger than before. So, naturally, you go and see your doctor. But your doctor is unable to identify what's causing your pain. They're advised to stay as active as possible and to take time to recover. You follow your doctor's advice, but the pain continues over the coming weeks and months. Everyday activities become challenging and the pain follows you everywhere. Eventually it affects your sleep and some days you can hardly get up at all. You see a chiropractor, a physio, try acupuncture and return to your doctor several times. You take painkillers, you look for answers online and you exercise as far as your pain allows. You try everything, but nothing seems to help. So your doctor refers you for an MRI scan to investigate your back more thoroughly. The scan shows changes to your vertebra. Some radiologists call these changes bone marrow edema, VESC or fatty marrow degeneration. But they all describe the same changes we call modic changes. Finally, you have an explanation for where your pain arises from. And that's good. But your doctor tells you that modic changes are not a diagnosis. So what are they then? Researchers have three leading theories for what causes modic changes. Theory 1. Mechanical cause. Modic changes usually occur around a degenerated disc. Because the disc works poorly, the vertebrae around it carries more weight, and microfractures may occur. The body reacts by sending immune cells to repair the microfractures, a process that becomes visible on an MRI scan as modic changes. Theory 2. Autoimmune cause. Autoimmune means that the body attacks itself. The inner part of the intervertebral disc is normally secluded from the body's immune system. Occasionally, ruptures in the outer part of this disc can occur, causing the inner part to be squeezed out and come into contact with the immune system for the first time. Immune cells see this new tissue as intrusive and foreign and attack it to protect the body. Again, the process becomes visible on an MRI scan as modic. Theory 3. Infection cause. An injury occurs in the disc, and bacteria that are not normally found there suddenly gain access and cause a low-grade infection. The bacteria produce waste products that can seep from the disc to the vertebrae. The immune system comes to the rescue, causing inflammation and becoming visible on an MRI scan as modic changes. No one knows for sure what causes modic changes. Because their causes are still only theories, the same applies to their treatment. Antibiotics against infection, surgical disc removal, medications for osteoporosis and immune modulator drugs are just some of the suggested treatments tied to the three theories. However, with each proposed treatment there is a possibility for both expected and unexpected side effects. At worst, improper treatment can make matters worse rather than better. It's frustrating to not get treatment when you know where the problem lies. Doctors and researchers working with back pain share that frustration. But until we know what causes modic changes, we cannot recommend any specific treatment. In recent years, there's been a considerable increase in the amount of research directed towards modic changes and back pain. And with each research project, we get a bit closer to understanding what modic changes are and how to deal with them. For now, choosing a treatment option will still be an individual decision made with your doctor. Hmm. If you're told that you have modic changes, there are a few things you should know. Not everyone with modic changes experiences pain. 
and for some the pain subsides by itself within a year's time. Others experience strong pain for several years, which impairs them in everyday tasks, at work, and during physical activity. However, research has shown that staying active does not cause further harm, so it's safe to remain active to the extent your pain allows. The prognosis for those with long-term back pain are unclear, so it's also a good idea to talk to your doctor about coping strategies. Together, you can figure out how much activity you can tolerate. Until we know for certain what modic changes are, the best thing you can do is live your life as normally as your pain allows. In the meantime, rest assured there are many people working on finding out what modic changes are and how they ought to be treated.